Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nita. Um, today I kind of just want to show you guys um, what a typical work day looks like for me. So I work from home currently right now. I own an Etsy shop and my own website. I have a fabric shop, I make t-shirts, I do embroidery, um, and I also make face masks. I do a whole bunch of things um, for my little small business and I kind of want to show you what I do in a day. All right, so I'm in my office right now. I usually work in my kitchen, but I needed to get all my invoices. I have four orders that I have to work on for today. So since we're in my office right now, I wanna show you guys what it looks like. Um, it's very dirty and messy and unorganized right now, but I'll just give you guys a quick little tour of my office. Okay, so don't mind all this mess. Basically, I just have all my priority mailboxes and all my crafts um, that I use to fulfill orders. I have my stuff for recording, my cutting table, uh, some very unorganized stuff over here in this corner and a whole bunch of fabric that's very unorganized. So I own my own fabric shop. It's very small, but I have a few fabrics. Um, since COVID has happened, um, I've been very busy actually, let me turn you guys around. I've been very busy actually with selling fabrics, so I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm hoping that I continue to stay busy with my fabric sales because I want to buy more fabric and offer more fabric on my website. Um, so I'm hoping that I sell out of this fabric quickly, um, so I can get some more fabric. Um, so right now I only have one fabric order that I need to make. Basically this person ordered two yards of fabric, one of this cute fish fabric, and this one for a jellyfish fabric. Okay, so this is basically the last bit of my fabric of the octopus. Um, I only have about a yard and maybe a quarter of a yard, so I'm just going to go ahead and give this customer the rest of the yard or the rest of the fabric that I have. So basically, I'm giving them the remnants for free because um, I can't sell it as a fat quarter because it's not big enough. So. Lucky for this customer, they get a little bit more extra fabric. Both of those have been very popular. I'm basically almost out of the fish fabric and then I'm officially out of this jellyfish fabric. If you need fabric, go check out the description. I have a few bolts of fabric left. So if you need to make face mask or if you need some projects to do during this whole COVID thing, um, go check out my fabric shop or my Etsy. Okay, so I have my fabric all nice and folded very neatly. Um, I like to put my fabric in these clear plastic bags. And then I take the invoice. Um, I can write thank you on it. And then I'm going to leave a little note on there saying that I added uh, the remnants in there for free. Hope you enjoy, Nita. And then I also offer a 15% off discount. Um, so I made I made sure to put a little heart around there so the customer knows and sees it. So they're more likely to come back to my shop and use the discount code. Have a goal of adding more fabric to my shop because I just love selling fabric. So um, there's one of my orders down. Um, I have three more to go. My other orders are ones for a face shield, um, ones for a dog bandana, and uh, another is for two personalized shirts um, for a big sister and a little sister. So I'll probably go ahead and start with the face shield. So the face shield I'm making is a Spongebob one. They did leave me a note saying that this item is for a toddler, for a three-year-old. So I do need to adjust um, 
my sewing pattern for this so it will accommodate this customer and fit her three-year-old. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna show you what one of my face shields look like. Um, so here's one of mine. So this was actually a mess up, so I just kept it for myself. But this is, um, it's basically like a net gator. Sorry, I keep looking at this camera. I'll look at you guys, sorry. Um, basically, it's a net gator. Um, you can use it for many different, or you can use it many different ways. One way is it's basically like a scarf, so during like winter time, it's, it could be really nice if you're going skiing, hiking, or just being in the snow. But um, you could also use it as a face mask or a face shield. And it's very nice because you could just pull it up and it covers your mouth and your nose. Um, I like this because I always tend to forget my face mask, so um, whenever I leave the house, I could just wear it as a headband um, for whenever I work out or if I'm going outside and I know I'm gonna need a mask wherever I go. It's nice to have it as a headband and then you could just pull it down and boom. You have the face mask. Um, you can also use it as kind of like a way to keep your hair out of your face. This would be nice. Um, I do go paintballing. I haven't gone in like a year, but whenever I do go paintballing, um, I would like to wear this because I help keep my hair out of my face and um, kind of help keep the sun off my head too. So. This would be nice to wear out in the garden when you're just getting all hot and sweaty. So um, these are really nice. I love these things. Um, another thing you can use it for is just like a sweatband. So if you're working out, you can use it as a sweatband. And sorry guys, I keep looking over here at the camera, at the monitor or whatever it's called. I'll try and remember to look at you guys. A nine by 18. Okay, so I wrote down on here that for a kid's size, I do a nine by 18. So all I do is place the fabrics right sides together and then I'm gonna clip the long sides together and then I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch and sew along this side and also this side. And then one of the sides you wanna leave a one inch gap because that's gonna help us pull the fabric through when we have to turn it right sides out. Little clips and I'll just clip sides together. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take this end of the neck gaiter and you can tuck it through. Now if you don't want to have it double layered, you could actually just leave it like this um, and flip these edges over and sew these down and then you can have a really long neck gaiter, neck gaiter that's only one layer, um, so it's a little bit cooler and uh, more breathable. But for this pattern that I'm using right now is double layered, so what I'm gonna do is flip it through or tuck it through, match up the ends, making sure to match up these seams specifically. And then I'm just gonna clip all away around and I'm going to sew all around this hoop. Um, I don't have to leave an opening or anything because I already have an opening um, on the side of this pattern. And using the same zigzag stitch, we're just gonna sew all the way around. Okay, so I need to find my little gap, my little hole, and it's right here. I'm gonna pull my fabric through that hole. Okay, so here's my little hole. I need to um, stitch that closed. Now you can use a zigzag stitch. I don't like how the zigzag stitch looks, so I'm gonna switch my sewing machine back to a straight stitch. And I'm just gonna sew that little hole closed using a straight stitch. Okay, so here's my little neck gaiter for a kid. It's super, super cute. I love making these things, they're so fast. Um, and very easy to make. This video might be a little chatty, um, just because I don't know where I wanna go with my channel. Basically, I just wanna show you guys what I do in my typical work day. Um, I kinda wanna document me growing my business. You guys don't know, but I'm actually a teacher. I just, I had a baby nine months ago, and um, right before COVID happened, I decided to take a sabbatical 
So basically I'm going to be taking the next two years off from teaching to be able to raise my two babies because I have two under two. Um, and it's probably a good thing because when I made that decision two weeks later, um, my school shut down because of COVID. So, you know, things happen for a reason and I think right now is a great opportunity to, you know, stay home with my kids, raise my kids, um, and just focus on my little small business that I have. Um, I've had my Etsy shop since 2018. Um, I started getting busy on my, or I started making sales on my Etsy shop around August of 2019. And then um, once, like in March, once COVID hit, my shop blew up. I was selling face masks um, to help raise money for me to be able to donate masks. Um, I donated hundreds, probably a, probably a thousand of face masks, honestly, um, to essential workers, doctors, nurses, anybody that basically needed one. Um, and selling face masks on my Etsy shop really helped get me a lot of traffic. Um, because I also have a fabric shop, a lot of people who are making face masks needed fabric and they needed it fast. So I sold a lot of fabric on Etsy um, and the money that I made from my fabric and some of the money that I made from the face masks, I reinvested it into my business and I was able to get a heat press. So now I make t-shirts um, specifically for little kids. So I make birthday shirts. Um, yeah, so it's been quite a journey and um, I plan on continuing continuing to grow my business. Um, I would have never thought that during COVID that my business would grow. I honestly thought when it first happened that my business was basically not done for, but I basically knew that my business wasn't gonna grow. And holy moly did, um, I get like, I was shocked because, um, oh my God, there's a fly that won't leave me alone. But, my business grew so freaking much because of COVID. And even though it's a crappy time right now, I'm so, so grateful that I'm able to provide for my family um, right now because I took a break from teaching, so I'm not making any money. So this is my only source of income. So this is quite nice that I'm able to grow my business. And honestly, I don't wanna stop growing my business. I wanna grow it as big as I possibly can. So. It's one reason why I want to YouTube it so I can document it and show you guys just like basically my journey of being a female entrepreneur and just growing my business. It's pretty exciting and I want to share it with you guys. But anyways, rambling on, I'm going to package this up in a little plastic baggie and it's all packaged up. I have business cards that I need to cut out on my Cricut. So usually I'll put a, throw a business card in here, but I kind of just want to get it packaged up, so I'm not going to put a business card in that one. Fold up the invoice. I'm going to write thank you on the invoice because I'm truly, truly grateful for every customer that I have because those customers are helping me reach my dream. So if you have bought something from me, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, you're helping me get one step closer to my dream, so thank you guys. My next two orders. The next one is for a taco themed, oops, can't see it, a taco themed dog bandana. Um, so you guys can just watch me make that. I have little templates. So the bandanas that I make are, go over the collar um, for a dog. Um, and I got this pattern from, I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, California Paws on Etsy. Um, I love this pattern. It fits perfectly on the dog. So here's my little taco themed fabric. Um, I'm gonna cut this out. So basically what I'm gonna do now is sew these ends and then um, I'm gonna sew it this way along these edges and then flip it out and then I'll have a cute taco themed bandana and then I'm gonna add a personalized name and um, the name I'm gonna be adding to this bandana is Groot which is like 
an adorable name. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this real fast and then I'll show you guys what I do next. I have my dog bandana with um, the name Groot. I'm gonna use my Teflon sheet. Okay. Okay, so there's that dog bandana. Now I'm just gonna package this order up. So I only have one more order now that I have to make. So my next order is I don't know if you guys can see this sister set. I need a onesie and a t-shirt. Let's see if I have both of those. I should. My kids are at my mom's right now and she just sent me these photos. Uh, there's Mason. He's my nine month old and here's Jackson. He'll be two next month. But there's no way that I could work and take care of them at the same time. So, um, Luckily, my mom was able to watch them today so I could work and talk with you guys and be productive. Okay, so my Cricut's going. I have black vinyl being cut right now and then I have these three colors that also need to be cut. So there is the little sister. How freaking cute is that? Hello. Mason. Mason. Hi, your mom. Hi, Mason. Hi, baby. You ready to come home? Huh, Mason? Okay, so my mom just called. Um, so I might have to go pick up my kids. My nine-month-old, I nurse him still, so... He can only last like a few hours without me. So luckily, this is my last order that I have to do. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. All right, so here is the big teeth. Big sis shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop filming here because I need to go pick up my son. But here is my last order that I just completed. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how I package this one up just because I have to go and pick up my kids. Um, but I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, make sure to like this video because that will help me a lot. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because my goal for August of 2020 is to reach 200 subscribers on YouTube. So if you can help me out, that would be awesome. And I'm also trying to reach 2K follows on Instagram. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram as well. Um, again, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!